Hi there, Fabian Claus here from the Guyana Revenue Authority. This week, we focus on the men and women in the custom house brokerage profession and the journey to becoming a licensed custom house broker. This is where Focus on GRA begins. In its capacity as a supervisory authority under the Anti-Money Laundering and Countering the Financing of Terrorism Act, the Guyana Revenue Authority presents to you this factoid. What is the Financial Intelligence Unit? The Financial Intelligence Unit, FIU, is an agency established under the AML-CFT Act of 2009, tasked with, among other things, ensuring the Financial Action Task Force recommendations are implemented locally. It is the primary agency for collecting information and gathering intelligence to be used for combating money laundering and terrorist financing. In its capacity as a supervising authority under the Anti-Money Laundering and Countering the Financing of Terrorism Act, the Ghana Revenue Authority presents to you this factoid. Money laundering. Money laundering is the processing of criminal proceeds that disguise or conceal their criminal origin. Simply put, it's the process by which criminals make dirty money obtained from their criminal activities look legitimate or clean. Welcome to Focus on GRA. This is a program of information for taxpayer education. Now, they are considered key stakeholders in customs and trade arena. So much so that without them, trade transactions in the country would be stymied significantly. Yes, we're talking about the men and women involved in custom house brokerage who render professional services for customs clearance for importers and exporters. In this program, you'll be hearing from a few of these professionals and from the organization that speaks and acts on their behalf. Procedures relating to cargo clearance, trade facilitation, applicable customs duty and taxes, and general procedures at our country's wharves, transit sheds, and other ports of entry undoubtedly requires the expertise of a custom house broker. A custom house broker or broker is a person who is licensed under the customs regulations to transact business with customs on behalf of individuals or corporate importers or exporters. Sean Holder has been in the profession for a little over 27 years and gives us some insight on its significance. You, you're dealing with exports, imports, and you're the mediator between the customs and the importer. And most of the times when things happen, the broker is the first person that the authority looks for. A broker works right through the night right through the day, right through the night. Why? Because clients have to get their stuff. They, like me, I work for a few ministries. They have to get their stuff. And you cannot call and say, oh, rain falling. No, you have to think about how you can get through the day. The law-abiding nature of the profession requires a custom house broker to be licensed by the Commissioner General of the GRA in order to conduct brokerage activities with customs excise and trade operations. We are all licensed by the GRA, so we consider the GRA our employers as such. We are licensed, we are gazetted, we are bonded um, in terms of a security bond to carry our functions. It's one of the functions, one of the uh, professions, I would say, that is fully legally documented in law. All prospective brokers are required to enroll in a course and sit an examination as a prerequisite to becoming licensed. The course, administered by the Revenue Authority, is a test of knowledge about customs and related laws, regulations, and competence on rendering services to importers and exporters. The course held annually provides training on customs and trade laws and regulations, such as classification and valuation, rules of origin, regional, bilateral, and international treaty obligations, and other related areas. In the Customs Act, it makes provision for the Customs and Trade Department to advertise twice annually for custom broker courses. Um, the first being in May, and the second, I think, in September, if, I, if I'm not correct. 
but so these things are gazetted you have to apply there's a strict criteria right now especially recently they do a full background check on you now i think they're doing it before now um, previously you got admitted to the course pay the fee did the exams and if you were successful then they would start the investigation to determine whether to issue you with this license they've changed that now and i think i support that as well because what they do now is have a very stringent investigation investigative pro, um, program and some some of the persons have been complaining but for me i think it is good because we represent a profession that has to be circumspect in terms of your character. With automated customs procedures and developments in the oil and gas sector that directly impact customs and trade, the Custom House Broker Training Program was tailored to meet the demands of the profession today. Relevant topics such as introduction to oil and gas, the single windows system, the automated system for customs data, as you the world, are prominent features in the program's course outline. On the other side of the break, we'll be bringing you highlights of the recently concluded Custom House Brokers Training Program. Stay with us. In its capacity as a supervisory authority under the Anti-Money Laundering and Countering the Financing of Terrorism Act, the Ghana Revenue Authority presents to you this factoid. What is terrorist financing? Terrorist financing means willfully providing or collecting funds, whether from a legitimate or illegitimate source, by any means, directly or indirectly, with the unlawful intention that they should be used or in the knowledge that they are to be used in full or in part to carry out terrorist acts by a terrorist organization or by an individual terrorist. You're watching Focus on GRA, where we're talking about customs brokerage. Now, a prospective broker is required to enroll in a course and undertake an examination to become licensed. This training program is administered by the GRA. This year's program concluded on July 7. Here's more about it. The Custom House Broker Training Program for 2023 was held during the period May 24 to July 7, with 180 prospective brokers enrolling. The Guyana Custom House Brokers and Clerks Association gave a guest lecture, which was a first for the association. Kudos to Mr. Biko, the current controller. He offered us a spot to do a presentation to the um, incoming or intended brokers. We were very pleased with that. And so we did presentations on, um, on, on matters that are not necessarily mainstream that they are already doing. So for instance, we did topics on barriers to communication which we felt that GRA would probably not necessarily expand a lot on, but which is very important. Uh, we've gotten a lot of complaints from importers, from people generally, even within my field with my company. Those are some of the reasons why some persons come to my company, because they can't get in contact with brokers and all of that. So that is one of the things we work on. Uh, we touched on areas such as growing a company. How do you grow your company? and so forth. And this is also important. Um, we, we talk about professionalism, ethics, the meaning of ethics, not just in a word, but the importance of it and the consequences it would have on you as a professional, right? Because as I said before, there's clear guidelines in the law as to consequences of not, not being ethical. And in, most, and in some cases, you can be prosecuted. And we need to get this out very clear that having a broker's license is just the first step. Maintaining that professionalism or even up in the game is, is, is important. Custom house brokers must operate within the confines of the regulations to the Customs Act. The regulations specify that a person must be the holder of a broker's license to transact business with customs on behalf of others. Any person not so licensed shall not charge any fee or accept any other consideration such as special inducements, promise of advantage, bestowal of gifts or favors or other things of value. Follow the laws, respect the organization that you are representing. And when I say that, I mean, um, you must respect the Revenue Authority customs because if you realize that um, 
we fall under the revenue authority. Our bad states get yeah. a revenue authority and it's signed by the control of customs. So you, you, you need to, as a broker, you need to respect the organization. You need to follow the laws, the legislation. You need to read a lot. And I find that that is something that us as association trying to get brokers to do is to do a lot of reading, um, read the legislation, read the schedules, you know, read the new um, changes, all these different changes that are happening all over. You need to be your favorite. The Ghana Custom House Brokers and Clerks Association, headed by Colin Moore, speaks on behalf of the men and women engaged in customs brokerage and advocates for the professional conduct in keeping with the laws. We find there is a proliferation of persons doing custom brokerage work who are not licensed. No, the law is clear. Who can perform the task of doing a broker and who cannot and where there's exemptions. There's exemptions for persons who want to clear goods themselves. That's in as part of the law. There's exemptions for companies who have persons in their employ. Now there is where we find there's a loophole in the system where everybody is working for everybody and just submitting a letter. So the question is, are you submitting your income tax in accordance with all these companies that you're working with? And we asked the GRE to investigate this and to look into this, but they have to understand that this is a profession that we want to see rise up again in the eyes of the public. And in many cases, when I'm moving around, I don't, I don't get that kind of level of respect that we ought to have. And it probably has to do with persons dealing with these uncertified brokers who don't have no responsibility to act in a legal way because they're not, they're not, they're not bounded by any law. The GRA has published a list of registered custom house brokers on its website, gra.gov.gy. Persons who require the services of a licensed professional to conduct brokerage activities on their behalf can visit the page for the relevant contact information. The list can be found in the search engine or via the business tab under the customs section. Well, that's all the time we have for you in this week's Focus on GRA. For more information on the Custom House Brokers Training Program or Customs Brokerage in general, visit our website, gra.gov.gy. You can also send us your emails, grapublicrelations at gmail.com. And don't forget to visit our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and our YouTube channel for more up-to-date tax-related information. Thank you for watching. Fabian Klaus saying take good care of yourselves and each other.